Well, first up, it's the Tayside Derby with St. Johnston and Dundee starting the game in joint second place. Philip Scott had the first real effort of the match, and that wasn't far away. Striker George Shaw, who's on month-to-month -month contract at Dens these days, could be off to Atletico Mallorca. This is the kind of form that's interesting the Spaniards, as Shaw gives Dundee the lead. He's already practicing his sunbathing technique. After going behind in only 10 minutes, St. Johnson dominated this match. Stephen Tosh here forcing Billy Thompson to make the fingertip save. From the corner kick, a real scramble in the Dundee defence. Thompson drops the ball, but ref Bobby Orr spotted it to Weir had fouled the keeper. Into the second half, and the big goalkeeper was under pressure again, dropping that John O'Neill free kick, but Kevin Bain cleared the danger. Well, St. Johnson have slid off the tabletop and have just picked up one point in the two games leading up to this one. They need to capitalise on chances like that. Late on, Jim Duffy's men had an effort to really kill off Saints. Nice play by Paul Tosh, getting round his namesake, Stephen, and the lob wasn't far away. It could have been more punishing, but in the end, it didn't matter because Saints missed their final chance for the equaliser. Jim Weir with the header over the bar, allowing Dundee to go to the